All these videos were made possible using this tool called Pika. It is available on the Discord server. The link to the Discord server is in the description down below. Now in this video, I'll mainly be focusing on the image to video that this tool provides. It also provides generative video or text to video, but we are not going to focus much on the text to video aspect of this tool. So in order to start generating, as you can see, these are the prompts that I used to generate these videos that you first saw in the video. So these prompts are not that difficult. So I uploaded an initial image and then the two girls are looking hot seductive face expressions. As you can see the video, you saw it previously also. And in this image right here, I wrote apocalypse scene, the man walking towards the structure. And this is the scene. In order to start generating and converting images into videos, just click on this section right here and type in slash. Now click on slash create and then click on plus one more in order to upload an image. Now click on image, double click on this image and upload any image that you want to convert into a video. I have chosen this image. Now in this image, what I want to do, I want to, I want this car to move and some people to move around. So I'll write, now this is a simple prompt that I wrote, apocalypse scene, the yellow car moving, people at the back walking, as you can see those two people behind. Now just click on enter and wait for a couple of seconds. Our video is finally generated. As you can see, the people are walking, but the car is not moving because it is in the front of the scene. And if the car moves, then the buildings also have to be reproduced. So that's why the car didn't move. But we can try writing the car moving forward or something. So the car is actually moving, but not moving forward. It's moving at place. This is the image that I used for my next scene. And the prompt that I used was, the girl is looking confused, finding someone. So this is the final result. You can actually use this tool to create some short films and animated short scripts of your desired story. I'm also planning to open a YouTube channel regarding this. I'll soon make a complete detailed video on that particular topic. This is the next image that I used and the prompt that I wrote for the image is camera moving forward. So whenever you want to give a camera movement, you can write the exact camera movement in the prompt people crossing the road. So I wanted a time lapse scene of people crossing and the street is pretty busy. Night turning to day. So this one didn't get successful. So this is something that I've written in order to give my camera some more movement, more than usual. Now let's see the final result. As you can see, the final result is pretty amazing. It looks like a time lapse. It actually is a time lapse of people moving around and the camera is moving, panning in slowly. So these are some small tricks that you can use to get some amazing results. This is the next image and now we want the subject to start moving towards the camera and I want a cinematic shot. So let's write a prompt. Moving on to the next step. Now let's check out the text to video in this tool. So as you can see, this is an author, a person who has generated a text to video and this is the exact prompt that he used. The text to video is also pretty capable and generates some amazing looking videos. As you can see, this is the big, as you can see, this is a prompt that he gave and this is what his video looks like. Now this discord server has a lot of channels that you can join. Different channels will have different results. As you can see, this is also a text to video. And a good camera movement. Create a high resolution atmospheric image of a vintage cinematic at midnight. Let's save this prompt, it looks pretty good. And this is someone that is generating a story. He generated similar looking images in Leonardo or Mid Journey. And then he generated a story. As you can see, the story follows this scene. Then comes this scene. Then comes the then come these scenes. And so on. And he is generating this story. Now let's explore some of the other channels. 
so generate 7 as you can see right here generating text to video is also pretty simple so you just need to write slash create and then instead of clicking on plus one more just type in any prompt for example This is a simple prompt. A man in a long coat running on the road, cinematic shot, camera movement panning in. You can also write GS 15 motion 2 in order to give some motion. You can also add motion 3 and motion 4 to give it some more motion. Now let's see what kind of an output does it generate with this simple prompt. While we are waiting for the video, I'll tell you a couple of things. So in order to set aspect ratio of your text to video generation, like in mid journey we used to put two lines, we need to put one line and AR, give space and 9 is to 16 or 16 is to 9 or 2 is to 3, 4 is to 3, 3 is to 4, any aspect ratio. And now let's see whether our video is generated or not. Text to video takes a bit. All right, our video is generated. And this is the video. Looks pretty normal actually. It, it, the person is seems like he's flying in the sky, not running on the road. But if you put some more detail in the prompt, it will give you some better results. Now, if you do not like the result, you can also click on this regenerate button right here so you can generate it as many times as you want click it multiple times and one of the results may be good and you can pick that result you can do this even with the image to video i just forgot to mention it earlier as you can see all these generations are in queue and here are all the results different types of results you know So as you can see using the simple prompt it generated some decent looking footages and just imagine what you can do with exact and detailed prompts. You can generate whatever you want the way you want it. So this was it for the video if you liked the video then subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video.